There it is. It's interesting, this uh, bike. Shimano motor. GT as a brand for me reminds me of my childhood when I was 14. We dreamed about riding with Hans Ray and having a GT Zaska. Now today I am riding with Hans Ray and if I was to tell myself as a child that I am riding a bike with Hans Ray I am absolutely shocked. I think GT as a brand has a lot of history and that comes through in the style of bike they make today. It's based around the Shimano motor and battery and an aluminium frame. With 250 watts of power from the motor, 500 watt hour battery, GT have specified RockShox suspension, Maxxis tyres and WTB rims to Shimano brakes front and rear. This is their entry level brake system but it works really well. Four piston. You're missing a few features compared to the higher level systems so it's slightly harder to adjust the levers. You need a tool. Thigh 29er wheels which tend to give quite a fast moving flowing bike. It has 150 millimetres of travel. All of the components on this bike come in at a middle price range with the aim of making a bike which is good for all people. Okay, the battery can be charged in the bike through this charging port here. The power switch is one of Shimano's discrete versions. I like the Shimano display. It fits well to my preference when it comes to bikes. Shifting is easy with the EMTB shifter. That means you can shift only one step at a time, not two. The frame is aluminium with an integrated battery. It has an LTS linkage on the rear suspension, which is a four bar system. So it's very sensitive to bumps and it pedals well. This is a good bike for trail riding. It's fast, it's fun, it's maneuverable. If I'm trying to describe the ideal user for this type of bike, I think it's somebody who wants GT quality, GT finish and style. GT have tried to create a bike that actually makes everybody happy, including those who are being sensitive to price but want quality. And I think they've done very well with here. You'll find that you can do a lot with this bike.